I'm an assemblage artist and currently I'm at a residency at Penrith Regional Gallery, which is the summer residency, which is great. It gives me an opportunity to work on a series of um, pieces that I'm doing for a solo show in Melbourne. Currently, I'm working on Louise Nevelson, who's a very famous New York um, assemblage artist, and uh, I've already created her hat, now I'm starting on her face. My base, like all assemblage art, does have a base, is a styrofoam base. At the moment, I'm actually dissecting some feet which I need to use for her face. So, um, I slice and dice used toys, not brand new toys, um, toys that are donated, um, toys that I find at Vinnie's, and they are carved. These are my materials. So at the moment I'm thinking, well, maybe I'll need to do some eyelids with the feet and using the toes. I've already found some beautiful brown eyes because she has very, very dark eyes and they actually fit in the portion to her face. So I'll be working around the pupils. Usually I start with the nose or the eyes to start off with. Then I put the eyeballs in, but once the eyeballs are in I start talking. As an assemblage artist, um, I have great access to materials and the materials that I use in my work are very cheap because they all come from Vinnie's and Salvo's and the Red Cross or they're donated by people who are cleaning out their toy boxes like some of the ladies I've come across, they look like this. And I can utilise the appendages, I can create artwork from the toys. Um, what else I like about my work in regards to assemblage artwork is that I'm creating artworks that should not be touched or cannot be touched from materials that were created to be touched. So um, I like the contradiction there in what I do. I have been doing this sort of work using these sort of materials for about seven years now. I um, graduated from TAFE, Campbelltown TAFE. And um, I'm a very proud Southwestern Sydney artist. Happy to say that. Um, the reason I, I was inspired to create these sort of works is probably um, I was giving artist talks at Camden Art Prize, and the children were a little, slightly bored with all the um, eucalyptus trees and sheep paddock paintings. So. Each year I brought a, a little sculpture that I'd made and it grabbed their attention and, and they remembered that the exhibition was exciting and fun. And um, I saw the response from the children and the teachers and the adults and I thought, oh, well, this is good, I might continue this. So the current series that I'm creating is for a solo exhibition in Melbourne in February. But the people who inspire me, all the portraits that I'm making, are actually um, assemblage artists themselves. So um, the two that I've created so far is the mother of all assemblage artists in Australia is Rosalie Gascoigne, the first one, and the second one's Harumi Tango. I'm working on Louise Nevelson, who's in New York, um, based on, oh, she's passed away now, uh, assemblage artist who uses cardboard. Um, Fiona Hall, I'm doing Jane Gillings. Um, Penny Byrne, who's one of my all-time favourite artists, she uses ceramics in her works. Um, where I slice and dice plastic, she does that with ceramics. I also have um, Susan O'Doherty. Um, I'm also going to create Lindy Ivivi. So they're all they're all actually women, which is quite funny. Um, most of them Australian, the majority are Australian, so I'm actually creating assemblage works of assemblage artists.